And we have a live look right now from our CSU cam downtown Cleveland. That cold front is just beginning to sweep through with it. The snow, you can see it's blustery. Take it from people who have already seen the streets of downtown. It is really starting to pick up. So good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for waking up with us on this Friday before Christmas to a winter storm slamming Northeast Ohio. We have team coverage with Betsy Kling and Peyton Domsky. And both of you have been warning us about this storm for days now. Betsy, we want to start with you because we are starting to see this roll in, especially off the lake. Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, we have been watching, literally watching the changeover from the rain to the snow. This is a live look around downtown uh, Cleveland and beyond. You can see uh, the snow that is on the roads. We have some of the cameras that are beginning to ice up a little bit, too. The temperatures have been the star of the show, though. We are now down to 34 in Ashtabula, 33 Youngstown, but it's 10 in Mansfield and we continue to fall. This is the big story. There's a two part story today. It's temperatures and it's wind. But I know all of you at home right now are going, yeah, but what's the roads look like? Well, we're going to get to that too. We just showed you those cameras. I'm going to talk snow. Peyton's going to handle more about the wind coming up. But uh, right now we have wind gusts over 40 miles per hour already being reported in North Northeast Ohio. Excuse me, and uh, the wind gusts will be picking up as we head through the day today. Current visibilities, this is due to snow, are below a mile in most areas at this point, and we'll continue to see these reduced visibilities through a good part of the day. We have some areas with some heavier snow coming down than others. We have a band of heavy snow that is stretching from right around Berea through Bath down into the Akron area and in toward Green, and then another one that stretches from southern portions of Lorain County into southwestern Medina County straight down into Worcester. Also some patchy heavier snow in Carroll County, Tuscarawas County. This all is lifting from south to north and look at the impact it is having on our roads. We have many areas where there are slowdowns. Notice there's no red. We don't have any closures. There's no stoppages. OK, it's just super slushy and icy at this point. The ice will continue to build up. That's the bad news. This is a very snow covered. Uh, that looks like Center Street there uh, in Brunswick. Route 303 71 would be right here. Uh, but you can see just how snow covered the roads are. There's another view of the camera. How's that for a camera? Ugh, the ice out there. Into Parma we go now, and you can see here on I-480 at State Route 94, we do have some uh, snow-covered roads. Not a ton of snow. Remember, the snow was not the big story out of this one. It's the cold, it's the wind, and the combination of those two. But we also have that icing that is taking place. We did have a good round of rain early this morning. All that water is now freezing and we have the snow on top of it. This is in Mansfield where we first had the icing taking place. There are areas with black ice at this point and we do have of course the snow that is also on the road and then over to New Philadelphia where the changeover is just taking place recently. So we don't quite have those temperatures that are completely down in the basement yet in Dover, New Philly, but it's already back down to 25 and again 10 in Mansfield 26 now to Cuyahoga County Airport and just about to go below freezing over on uh, the east side of the state. This is a live look now at the Interbelt Bridge in downtown Cleveland. We've got a little snow shower coming through. Our current temperature downtown is at 23 degrees. We do have that snow and as you can see all red showing up here on the morning commute forecast. Uh, those temperatures are not going to get much better. We're going to be down to 20 or so by the time we hit 7 a.m. and if we kind of fast forward to 11 a.m. or noon, we'll be in the single digits and we are talking about wind chill readings, friends, that will be down 20 to 25 below zero. National Design, our hour by hour forecast, just to kind of focus on the snow and the temperatures, we're in the single digits and low teens through 7 a.m. We will be in single digits to near zero, even below zero as we head through the latter part of the morning and then we hold steady. The good news is we should see the snow backing off a little bit. I think this is kind of uh, great news. Although the snow that we have had and the snow that we will continue to get, which will be off and on, will be blowing and drifting. So we're not really going to get a ton of relief from it, but we are going to be frigid for the day today. And remember, it's all about the winds because look at these wind chill readings. At the same time, the snow is going away, the temperatures are going down, the winds are coming up, and Peyton has more on that wind threat, and specifically with your power outages. 
Yeah, and I mean, the, the wind is really just beginning as that front swept down through. We're just continuing to see these increase and they will pick up as we head through the day today. We will have gusts anywhere between 40 to maybe even 60 or greater miles per hour at times, and that is going to cause potentially the brunt of our problems beyond just drifting and blowing snow and the serious cold across the area. It's going to be the potential for power outages, especially as we head through late this afternoon and early this evening. Once again, we could have gusts above 50 miles per hour. Sandusky 55 potentially around 4 p.m. Downtown even around 53 miles per hour. Regardless if you're farther inland or closer to the lake, you will have gusty conditions above 40 miles per hour. The lake shore will seem potentially the most intense winds out of this entire thing. But regardless, this is going to have an impact on not only our Friday, but even stretching into the weekend. Winds will start to die ever so slightly as we approach midnight tonight. And when I say die down, I mean gusts around 40 miles per hour. Here's it simply put, we will see gusts ranging from 40 to 60 throughout the day, and that is going to put a huge control factor over where our wind chill values go. We will feel 20 to 30 degrees below zero as we head through the day today. It's not this morning that's really intense. In fact, it's going to get worse. So temperatures will continue to drop. That feels like condition will continue to drop. So we have a couple of reminders. Stay indoors if possible today. Keep an eye on the pets. Those roadway conditions are expected to worsen as those winds also pick on up any snow that we have. Once again, this is not a huge snowmaker for us. We'll be drifting and blowing, causing visibility to be reduced out there and then those power outages on top of everything. So when it comes to the rest of the timeline, we will continue to see winds howling as we head into your Saturday. That is your Christmas Eve. I will have that entire holiday forecast and more. Betsy will keep you updated on the roadway and those conditions happening now. The current what you need to know if you have plans this morning. I hope you have plans to stay indoors, Maureen. All right, Peyton, thank you so much. And thanks to Betsy. We're going to check in with you guys throughout the morning and over the course of the next couple of days, over 300 ODOT crews are going to be out across Northeast Ohio working 12 hour shifts around the clock. ODOT says road conditions are going to change mile by mile and minute by minute. So if you're traveling from one end of the area or the other, you need to watch out. They say roads won't be perfect, but they will be passable. But these high winds are what's really going to create some challenges for our drivers because they're going to pass through an area and they're going to get it cleared. And then five minutes later, it's all going to blow back over and it's going to look like they weren't even there, but but they are and, and they're working very hard. At 5 a.m., Austin Love is going to be live out on the roads. He's going to take a look at how ODOT is working this morning, and we're going to have continuing coverage of this storm throughout the morning live on the air. You can also get constant updates on WKYC.com and, of course, the 3 News app.